Conservation, I think without many people realizing it, is probably one of the most important things that we can do. If you think about, for example, in the breakfast you will have uh, plants. You will have coffee and you will have maybe wheat in a croissant or maybe chips in an English breakfast. Uh, all the medicines you take, basically if, if the world has a chemist, is, is, is the plants. My name is uh, Carlos Magdalena and my job title at Q will be Collections Botanical Horticulturist. If you need to compare maybe 20 different species of passiflora and you have to go to South America, get all the permits and collect them and then bring them here, it's quite expensive. If you have 150 species of passiflora in here, then there is a lot of research that can be done just in half a morning because you have all the plants from many different countries and many different types together. It's also very, very important because, um, as I say, most of the biodiversity is in the tropics and the tropics are being destroyed. Just the rates of deforestation in, in places like uh, tropical Asia and the Amazon uh, is just alarming. So there is a huge uh, deal of conservation that we, we can do. I was, uh, I was born in, in Spain, northwest Spain, in a place called Asturias, and then how I end up in London? Well, I don't really know. Well, I guess that uh, when you are young and you are like 20 something, everybody wants to go away for a while and go to a cosmopolitan place and perhaps learn a different language. And then I was something like 26, 27 years old, and I have this moment in which I, I was finishing one contract in Spain, and I just told, well, if I don't do it now, it's never going to happen. So I just said, uh, came for six months and then 14 years later I am still here. The minute I step through the door, I just decide like, this is the place. I was passionate about horticulture and wildlife and nature from before I could speak accordingly to my mother. Uh, I always have this, this kind of love of uh, wildlife and forms of life. My grandparents were farmers and my mother, she's always amazed by, by it. And so I think uh, her, her kind of interest and amazement of uh, looking at the many different forms of life, uh, it has been contagious for me. Well, I tend to see life uh, in a different way that people sometimes see it. And in the case of Q, I tend to see this like a museum of living things. This nursery, I like to refer to it as a Noah's no Ark, which travels rather than in the sea, travels in the time. So by having plants here, from a species which is threatened in the wild, we can be sure that if that species goes off, there is some backup uh, plan for the species. Every plant has thousands of chemicals, of which many hundreds or many thousands are unique to this plant. So basically, anytime we lose a species, we are just shooting in, in our food. Tropical plants, I think they have all this kind of glamour to them, isn't it? They are so showy and so exuberant and, and they have a huge interest from the ornamental point of view. They are one of the main key features of, of Cube. Well, I believe that the value of our species is far greater than any piece of art. You spend your life uh, sleeping eight hours, and then working eight hours, and then from the other eight hours which are left, still you have to travel, commute, uh, wash your clothes, make your cooking, brush your teeth. Uh, so at the end of the day, the, the, the only place where you can really get some kind of time, which is from your own pleasure, is at work. If you manage to work into something which you enjoy doing, that was one of the main things which made me realize that I really should pursue something which I like, rather than something which gives me money, fame, or a house in an expensive location. Uh, when, when I work in Kiu, 
he just feels right. It's not because there is a kind of commercial pressure telling me to do it. It's just like I am having the feeling that I am doing what I should be doing.